How many English words do you know? That's easy to find out. Let's take an English dictionary and start counting. It's gonna take a while. Of course we're not doing that. Instead, I'm gonna try out a few really good tests available online to find the best ones that will work for you. Do you want to test your English vocabulary the right way? Don't worry, I've got you covered. Hey, my fellow English learner! I believe in science, so I try to find the kinds of tests that are based on research, at least partially. And the first site I stumbled upon was preply.com. It was literally the first search result. The research behind the test seems solid. It uses frequency word lists and chooses what kinds of vocabulary to test really carefully. They give you a list of words and you need to click on the vocabulary you know the meaning of. You start with some basic words and end up with the kind of words you only see in books and newspapers. It took me less than 10 minutes to finish the test and I ended up with the result of 22,159 words. In their FAQ, they talk about non-native English speakers and their vocabulary, and they say that an average intermediate learner knows from 4,000 to 6,000 words, and an average advanced learner from 8,000 to 10,000. Anything beyond 10,000 comes from living in an English-speaking country for quite some time or from consuming a lot of content in English, books, movies, etc. for a long time. And in my case, it's the content. Next is ken.ac.uk.com, University of Kent. This test looks a bit odd. The next question button is on the left and the previous question button is on the right. Why? The choice of vocabulary is also a little strange, like random, very bookish words. You need to match a word to its synonym. I don't know. Well, at least it took me only 10 minutes to finish the test. My score was 30. An average score for graduates, whatever that means. They also say that if your first language is not English, your score is likely to be lower on such verbal tests than native English speakers. True! The next test says it will give you a rough idea of how your vocabulary compares to that of a native English speaker. So this test was designed specifically with English learners in mind. They used the same idea as the previous tests that some words are more frequently used in speech and writing than others. I had only two choices, no and don't know. It took me less than 10 minutes and according to them, I know around 22,050 words. Interestingly, it's almost the same number as I got in the first Preply test. After that, I tried to find a vocabulary test on the website of the University of Cambridge, and I came across something that I thought was a vocabulary test, but turned out to be a general English test. So if you want to estimate your level of English in 10 minutes, you can use it. It will be a very rough guess, of course. What I loved about the test was that they used whole sentences with context, not just separate words, to check your understanding of different grammar structures and vocabulary. They said that I was ready to prepare for their C2 test. Maybe some other time. <laughs> Let's return to our vocabulary test. My.vocabularysize.com has a test that was created by researchers from the University of Wellington. And it's long. Like 140 questions long. It took me 20 minutes to finish the test and I ended up with the result of 16,800 word families. A word family is not the same thing as a word. Let's say you take the word luck. You can create a lot of other words using this base word, like lucky and unlucky. All these words make up one word family. 
According to research, an average native speaker knows around 20,000 word families. And to understand the content you're reading and listening to, you need around 9,000 word families. So my result wasn't that bad. I am not reaching the heights of knowing as many words as a native speaker would, but my passive vocabulary is extensive enough for understanding pretty much everything I choose to watch and read in English. And reading has probably played the biggest role in improving my English vocabulary. And if you want to learn the difference between reading for fun and detailed reading to boost your vocabulary and grammar, check out this video next. Tell me in the comments which test you liked the most and see you next time with more awesome language content!